Welcome everyone to Theta Healing NYC channel. I'm so happy you are joining us today. I am Eric Brummett and uh, I'd like to talk today about manifesting a Theta Healing practice. In Theta Healing, we talk a lot about the importance of details when manifesting. The specifics is what ends up being drawn to us when we manifest. That is definitely true. It is very important to make sure that you are clear and succinct with what you're looking to draw into your life when manifesting. It is important to follow it up with continuing to work on your beliefs relating to your manifestation as our subconscious beliefs can block our manifestations but mostly what ends up happening with our beliefs relating to manifestations is that it modifies the details. If you are looking to step into that title of being a healer, it is important to work on your beliefs relating to not just being a healer, but the different names, the different titles of healers, of being witches and wizards and priests and monks and nuns and shamans and all these different you know, stereotypes. Each one has different sets of beliefs that come with them that can manifest with the practice. This is one thing that here at Theta Healing NYC we thoroughly address in our mentorship program that really is the differential between what we are doing to support our students in becoming professional Theta Healers compared to other programs out there to develop your understanding and structure and fundamentals of business, which we do address as well in our program, yet the real fundamentals in Theta Healing is addressing our beliefs because in this universe anything is possible as long as we are open to it. So if you are interested in learning more about Theta Healing or any of the services that we offer of sessions or programs or classes, please visit us at ThetaHealingNYC.com. If this is your first time visiting us here at the Theta Healing NYC channel, please subscribe below or like and share this video. And thank you so much for joining us.